welcome to Frontier Markets Nigeria. I am Justina Okechukwu here with a summary of how the markets performed at the close of trading. The equities market halted its losing spree after the NGX All Share Index appreciated 1.24% to close at 52,591.41 basis points. Now, looking at the top five gainers, Champs PLC rose 9.52%. Etel Africa was up 9.39%. MTN Cocoa Processors was up 6.06%. Veritas Capital was up 4.76%. And Royal Exchange rose 3.64%. For the top five losers, Champion Breweries and Mac Nichols closed lower by 10%, followed by PZ Cousins by 9.92%. Regency Alliance fell 9.68%. NEM Africa also fell 9.25%. However, the NGS group advanced further by 1.32% to close at 23 Naira per unit. With a total of 4.495 million shares traded in 119 deals worth 101.078 million Naira. At the NASD OTC market, a total of 4.016 million shares valued at 12.221 million Naira were traded. As the NSI inched up 0.41% to close at 795.06 basis points. At FMDQ Securities Exchange, a total of 13.276 billion Naira worth of bonds, Nigerian Treasury bills and OMO papers were traded on the platform. While the central bank special bills maturing July 11, 2022 finished off with one deal worth 3 billion naira at a discount high of 2.80% and a low of 2.80%. At the IE window, the naira appreciated 0.24% to trade at 418 naira per dollar, while open repo rates gained 63 basis points to 12.96%. Now to market news. The Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers has elected Fiona Ahimi as the first female primary officer. Mrs. Ahimi is now in line to become the first ever female CIS president in 30 years. Honeywell Flower Mills Board of Directors meets May 27th to approve the first quarter 2022 earnings. Maya PLC shareholders has approved the full year 2021 results. And that's all for you today on Frontier Markets Nigeria. Do join us again tomorrow. I am Justina Okichukum. Bye for now.